Hello and welcome to the lesson two exercise. Now, if you haven't checked out the beginner series yet, I would highly recommend that you do that because this exercise is specifically intended to be done after you've completed lesson two. So go ahead and check out the beginner series either in the link in the description below or check up in the upper right corner. So this is what you're going to be completing as part of this exercise. Now I have all of the image assets that you need for download just below the video. So go ahead and grab those assets, fire up a brand new single view application Xcode project and using what you've learned to try to put this together. So at this point, what I do is just pause the video and try this out for yourself. If you get stuck, something doesn't look right, you can't get something looking the way you want, then come back and watch this video from this point on because from here on out, I'm going to be building this and showing you how to do it. So here I've started a brand new Xcode project. I'm going to choose single view app and let's call this the lesson two exercise solution. And you know, all of this stuff is fine. I mean, all we're doing is customizing how it looks in the storyboard. So we're gonna be working in the storyboard here. The first thing to do though is grab those image assets and put them into your asset library. So I've actually got them right here. So I'm just gonna grab them all and put them in. So let's just take a look at what we have. We have this breakfast image, which is from uh, pexels.com. And I've got the uh, icon. And then I've got a gradient for the bottom and the gradient for the top. Now gradients can actually be done. You don't have to use image assets, but at this point, in your iOS journey, this is probably the easiest way for you to do it. So I'm gonna start here by first putting in that big breakfast image. Let's open up the object library and choose image view. And if you don't remember the shortcut key, just click on this icon up here. We're gonna add the image view. So let's also stretch it out to all four sides. We're going to uncheck constraint to margins because we want it to be to the very edge. And we're also going to make sure that each of these margins that we're specifying uh, is relative to the view and not the safe area. And then we're going to proceed to set them all to zero. So let's go ahead and add these four constraints and then set the image for this guy to our breakfast. Now, just in case it's a little bit stretched, uh, change the content mode from scale to fill, which is the default to aspect fill. And that's going to maintain the proper aspect ratio while filling up the space of the UI image view. You can see that it looks a little bright. Uh, we're gonna add our gradients now. So again, open up your object library and just put an image down there like that. And this time we're going to add uh, three constraints, left, right and top, and this is gonna be that top gradient. So we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up, uncheck constraint to margins again, enable the three, and then I'm going to make sure that it's relative to the view, so it goes to the very edge, because we want it to be at the very edge and not, uh, it doesn't matter if it's obscured by the battery indicator or the time or the notch or anything like that, and so that's why we uh, specify this relative to the view and not the safe area. All right, so we get some uh, constraint errors, but let's set the image first. So we're gonna choose top gradient, and that is going to, um, that's gonna look okay like that. We're gonna add a second image view and put it near the bottom right here. And this one's gonna be the bottom gradient, and we're gonna set the left, right, and bottom constraints for this guy. So same exact thing, uncheck constraint to margins. We're gonna enable these three. And then we're going to choose relative to the view. Okay, now let's set these guys to zero and then click add three constraints. And then we're gonna set the image to bottom gradient. So we get something like that. Now the next step is to add the, let's add the icon first. So again, we're gonna be adding another image view like that. And I'm going to set the image to heart health, and then I'm going to add a, a top 
and right margin. And this time I'm going to leave this on and I'm going to leave it relative to the safe area. I'm gonna say, oops, I don't wanna add that constraint, just the left and the right, sorry, the top and the right. Let's add these two and we've got our little icon there. All right, we're nearly there. So let's add our label right here. And this one, uh, let's just change the text to white first so we can actually see what it's saying. And then we are going to uh, leave constraint margins on. I'm gonna do left and top, and we're gonna do 20 and 20. And again, this is by default relative to the safe area, so we know that this label isn't gonna get blocked by anything. So let's add these two constraints right there. And we're gonna set the toast to, I think it was hardcore avo toast. And then we're going to click this font and let's just make it a little bigger. I forget exactly what size I used, but let's say 30. And I think actually I had a custom font. So I used, uh, you can choose anything you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna choose Avenir next demi bold and Let's do 40, whoa, that's way too big. 30, all right. And what you can do at this point, if you want it to wrap to two lines, um, you can change your number of lines to zero, which um, just means multi lines. And you can actually either set a width. So if you set a width, say cutting it off right here at the point at the A, it's going to automatically wrap avo toast to the next line or you can change your text and you can manually specify a line break. So hold down control and hit enter like that to create a, a double line label and just hit enter. So you've got that. And we're gonna add another label this time down here. And let's set this font to white and we're going to make this label cling on to the left, the right, and the bottom. And just say 20, 20, and 20. And again, let's make this a multi-line label by setting the number of lines to zero. And I forget exactly what text I had, but let me just write something here. Um, this breakfast is so healthy and will give you so much energy that you'll be able to accomplish anything today. That's, <laughs> actually, I don't think I had this much text in, in the version I showed you, but it's fine. So, you know, even though I might not have chose the exact font size and the exact font that I used, um, in the demo that I showed you in the beginning of the video, you kind of get the idea about how to build this UI. So I hope you were able to do it on your own. If not, I hope you're able to do it after watching this. I would give it another try if you got stuck, just so you can uh, get some extra practice in because it's really, once you start doing it, you're going to then realize what you don't know. And if you're just watching me, you don't know what you don't know, right? So definitely give it a try. All right, I'll see you in the next one.